Hey, welcome in everybody. In this video, I am going to be working in AutoCAD and we're going to be using absolute coordinates. So previously we've used absolute coordinates all in the positive direction, but I also want to show you that you can use absolute coordinates in the negative direction as well. So this example is going to demonstrate that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start a brand new AutoCAD drawing. And I want to make sure that my units is set for architectural just to kind of get into the practice of doing that so architectural then i want to create a, a new layer so i don't want to be on layer zero i'm going to click the stack of papers with a yellow kind of a starburst i don't know what you call that but if i click that now i can it, it creates a new layer for me so i'm going to rename this layer i'm going to use my cap locks to name this layer object and I'm going to change my color to magenta just because I like that color. And then I'm going to go to line weight. I'm going to change it from the default to 0 0.30 millimeters. And another way you can set the current layer is instead of clicking the stack of papers, you can also, if it's highlighted, you can double left click it and that'll make that layer current. So. We have all that set up, so I'm going to hit the X to close out of this dialog box here. Then what I want to do is, my next step is, actually what I'm going to do is, if you look down here, you're going to see the, the line weight display. And if you don't see that, go over to the customization menu here and look for a line weight and just make sure that that's checked. And then that's going to put it down here in the status menu. And then I'm going to turn this on. And that's going to let us see our, our, our thickness of our lines as we draw them. So then what I want to do is I'm going to right click on the grid icon, the grid mode. I'm going to click on grid settings. And for my settings here, I'm going to set my grid X spacing to one inch, my Y spacing to one inch. For major line every, I'm going to set this to, let's set it to six this time. I know it's different than what we've been using in class. So that's going to be six. I'm going to turn off these, the adaptive grid. I'm going to turn off the display grid beyond limits and I'm going to leave everything else as it is. I'm going to click OK. And then what I want to do is I am going to set my limits. So I'm going to type in limits. Press enter on my keyboard. Now, normally we've, we've kept our, our lower left corner at zero comma zero, but because we're gonna be working in negative coordinates for this exercise, I'm gonna start my lower left corner at, let's say negative 12 comma negative 12. And then my upper right is gonna be 12 comma 12. So now you can see that puts our origin kind of right smack dib in the middle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to save my drawing. Even though I don't have really anything to save, I did do all that setting. So I'm just going to go up to the, the big red A up here. I'm going to click on save. And uh, so if you're one of my students, you, you want to make sure that you save your drawing in the H drive. But since I'm at home and I don't have an H drive here, I'm just going to save it in my documents folder. So I'm going to go last name underscore first name underscore this is going to be exercise one dash three and then i'm going to click on save and so now i'm going to go up to my line tool so just make sure you want to have your object layer as a current layer which it is i'm going to go up to the line tool and so also make sure that your um, dynamic input mode here is turned off so you can see mine is not blue here. So make sure that yours is not blue. And then what I'm gonna do is for my first point, I'm gonna make my first point negative 12 comma negative 12. And then I'm gonna press the enter key. So that kind of puts us at the bottom kind of corner of our, our grid limits here. 
And then what I want to do is let's just say that I want to I want to go from from here. So everything is going to be measured from the absolute coordinate. So everything is going to be measured from this origin here. So if I wanted to go to this line, it would be negative one, two, it would be negative six and then negative 12 just to get to this point here. So I'm going to go negative six comma negative 12 and then I'm going to go negative six comma negative six. We're not going to do another H again like we did in the last um, lesson. So let's uh, from here, let's go zero comma zero and we'll be at the origin here. And then what we can do is we can go now let's go in a positive direction. So let's go six comma negative six. We'll go positive in the X and negative in the in negative in the Y, right? So let me let me try that again. We're gonna go six comma negative six. So negative six here. And then we can go straight down again, just kind of mirror this one here. There's a mirror tool, but we ain't got there yet. So we're gonna go six comma negative twelve. And then let's go. This is going to be 12 comma negative 12, 12 comma negative 12. All right, so that's kind of cool. We got kind of a house looking shape. So there's the ground, there's our house. I wasn't intended to make it look like a house, but that's kind of what we have so far. All right, so from here, let's go, um, let's go 12 comma zero and then now where can we go we can go let's go six comma six and here we can let's now let's get a little let's get a little fancy here so we can go maybe uh three comma three or i don't know let's just go three comma four let's see where that puts us cool cool and then from here we can go let's see i'm gonna go zero in the x direction comma and i'm going to go straight up six and then let's see if i can do this uh, i want to go negative if i can figure this out it's going to be negative three comma four oh yeah there we go making little mountains up here and then we can go negative six comma six Awesome, awesome. And then to get it over here, we need to go um, negative 12, comma zero. And then here we can go straight down. So um, there's a trick I could end it on, but I don't wanna show y'all that yet. I wanna make y'all suffer. So we're gonna go to, we're gonna go negative 12, comma negative 12. And then let's, let's just call that good for now. I'm hit the escape key to get out of this line tool. Um, what else can we do? Do we wanna add something else to it? Let's add a circle, why not? So, hmm, let's put a circle on top. So we, I know we've been doing lines so far, so I'm gonna go to my circle tool up here and I'm gonna click on this little down arrow. So let's go circle with a center radius. Or do we want to go diameter? Let's, you yeah, know, let's do radius. So yeah, I'm gonna go center radius. I'm, I'm making this up as I go. So I'm gonna click on center radius. My center is gonna be at this peak right here in the middle. And we can make our radius be at the end of this, or the or where the, the valley of this V shape is. So I'm gonna click there. That's kind of cool, right? Okay, hit the escape key. And now what we can do is let's just get real fancy. Let's go up to this hatch, the hatch button here. And to the right, click the little down arrow. And let's click on hatch. And I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna make this solid. I'm gonna slide my transparency over to about, I don't know, somewhere in the middle, like 50, like so. And then I'm gonna click on the inside, or I'm gonna click on the top portion of the circle but make sure you click inside your this kind of shape here 
and then I'm gonna click on close hatch creation yeah that's kind of a neat looking drawing I have no idea what that is I just made that up as I went along so um, that's kind of neat and then make sure you want to go to file and save it again and yeah I kind of like that I don't know I have no idea what that is looks like some kind of bug I don't know maybe a big grasshopper I don't know anyway peace out